Hey, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jared from 3C's Recreation, and today we're gonna to do an oil change on the YCF Start 88. Customers had the bike for a year, time for its first oil change. It's a really simple process, but I thought I'd show you guys at home in case you don't know. So what we're gonna need, I'll show you now. It's always handy to have your owner's manual. This is what comes with the bike. I've made some notes on the top there. You see them sticking out. It kind of walks you through this process. We have our new quart of oil. I've already measured out the right amount for this bike. This bike is 800 milliliters, but please make sure your bike, if it's a different YCF model, to check with your manual to put the right amount of oil back in. And we need a 17 millimeter socket to get to the bottom of the drain plug. And our fill plug is nice and easy to get to. It's just right here. So fill plug is here. We've got our oil pan and our drain plug. You can see the bolt right there. Turn this little light on. You can see the bolt. And what we're gonna do, this bike has already been warmed up. It's already been run for five minutes. We've let it cool down for three minutes. It's a beautiful day outside. So now all we have to do is remove our drain plug. And the oil is hot, so keep that in mind. You can see on this one, my drain plug, my crush washer has stuck to the bottom of the engine there. It's that little second tab there, it's the washer. So when this is done draining, I'll pry that off there. We'll clean the drain plug and we'll reassemble it together. So now we'll get that little crush washer off of there. It's good to mention that this bike is sitting completely flat when we do these oil changes. I will loosen the front wheel and I'm gonna tip the bike from right to left a few times just to make sure that all the engine oil that could be in the bottom of the case, maybe in a little cavity. I'm gonna make sure all that oil comes out the drain plug. So I will loosen this bike. I'll tip it from side to side to make sure that we have all the oil collected in the drain pan before we reinsert the drain plug. Now that all the oil is completely drained from the engine, we've tipped it from side to side to make sure it's all out. We will now clean the bottom where the drain plug connects just to make sure there's no dirt or debris. And we can now reinstall our drain plug on there. Each model is going to have a specific torque setting for the drain plug bolt. So I want you to refer to your manual for what your bike should be torqued at. But we just use a torque wrench and that'll make sure that the drain plug is tight like it should be and not over tightened. Now that the drain plug has been reinstalled and torqued, we can take our dipstick out. The dipstick is nice because it tells us how much oil is in the motor. We'll use this in a minute after we refill it to confirm that we have what we need to have in it. So we're gonna remove this now. You always wanna clean the sealing surface on the crankcase there. Make sure there's no debris in there. And we will now insert the right amount of oil. This bike was 800 cc's. Refer to your manual for your bike. But we're gonna dump this right in the fill plug here. Now that the oil's been added, we want to reinstall our dipstick. We want to go outside, we want to start this bike, let it run for five minutes, and we let it cool down for three minutes, and we want to recheck our dipstick to make sure the oil's exactly where it should be. So now we'll pull this bike outside, we'll start it, and we'll check the dipstick. So we just ran the bike for five minutes. It's been cooling down for three, so keep your hand away from the exhaust. And this is our dipstick. We need to unscrew it. We need to clean it off first. So we'll unscrew it. We'll get it cleaned off here. Now we want to hold the bike perfectly upright. We'll reinstall the dipstick and we'll screw it all the way in. Now that it's screwed in and we're perfectly upright, we can unscrew it. We'll check our dipstick reading. Then it's perfect. It's right there, almost three quarters all the way up to dipstick there. So this bike is ready to go back to the customer. If you guys uh, enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.